Okay, today we're doing 5-4 absolute value inequalities, day 3. Now day 4 will just be an assignment, so there won't be any video for day 4. I want everyone to know that. No video for day 4. This is just day 3. Okay. Discussion. What would the absolute value of pen greater than 3 mean? As we look at this, all that means is that the distance from the pen to zero, or how far from the pen is from the starting point, zero, pen has to be greater than three away, or it's got to be less than negative three away. Because if we take the absolute value of that, it's going to be greater than three. That's what we need it to be. So it either has to be either four steps away from zero, or negative four steps away from zero. Now, that kind of seems different because we can't have negative distance. But we could say going to the right four steps and going to the left four steps. Today's objective, we'll be able to solve an inequality with an absolute value. Seems familiar. I believe that's been the objective for the past three days. So. Example one. This is where it starts to look a little different because we're going to have to solve for x. But we treat it exactly the same way. First it says, what does this question mean? It means that if we take a number and we subtract 3 from it, then the distance of that number has to equal 5. Okay? And so as we look at this, we're going to treat it exactly the same way as we had been treating it x minus 3 equals 5, and then you have your other solution, x minus 3 equals negative 5. Now you're just going to solve it the same way we have. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. That gives you x equals 8. Add 3 to both sides. That gives you x equals negative 2. So, if I put the number 8 in for x, 8 minus 3, absolute value of that is 5. If I put negative 2 in, negative 2 minus 3, absolute value of that is 5. Example 2, absolute value of 2x plus 3 is less than 11. So now we start to get back into the inequalities. We have a less than sign. Remember, less than means it's an and problem. So it's going to be 2x plus 3 is less than 11. And 2x plus 3 now remember, with the absolute value, you have to put a negative in front of that 11, negative 11. And because you put a negative in front, you flip the inequality. So it has to be greater than negative 11. Now you just solve it. Subtract 3. You get 2x is less than 8. Divide by 2. x is less than 4. Subtract 3 from this side. You get 2x is greater than negative 14. Divide by 2, and you get x is greater than negative 7. This means that x would have to be between 4 and negative 7, because it's an and question. That means we can put any number in between 4 and negative 7, and it will hold true for this statement. It will be less than 11. So let's say I put the number 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 is less than 11. So I chose a number in between negative 7 and 4, plugged it in. That's a good way to check your answers to make sure that you are doing it correctly. Example 3. 
2x plus 3 is greater than 11. So it's a greater than, which means great for. It's an or question. Do it exactly the same way. 2x plus 3 is greater than 11. Or 2x plus 3. Now you have to flip your inequality is less than negative 11. Now you just saw Subtract 3 from both sides. I don't know if you noticed or not, this is the same as the last question. We're just going to have a different look to it. 2x is greater than 8. Divide by 2. x has to be greater than 4. Subtract the 3 over here. That is not a 3. It's supposed to be. You have 2x is less than negative 14. Divide by 2. x is less than negative 7. So your options are x is greater than 4 or x is less than negative 7. On to u tries. Now we're going to go through all these u tries. So write them down, try to do them yourself, and then we're going to go over. Oops. Obviously, you're going to want to pause the video. Number one. Five, absolute value of 5x minus 5 equals 15. You start by just doing 5x minus 5 equals 15. Your other answer would be 5x minus 5 equals negative 15. Remember, when you get rid of the absolute value, break it into two parts. Always. Every time. Start by adding 5 to both sides. It gives you 5x equals 20. Divide by 5, x equals 4. Add 5 to both sides over here. It gives you 5x equals negative 10. Divide by 5, x equals negative 2. Number 2. Get rid of your absolute value. So less than, so you know it's going to be an and question. So if you're inequality, then you make it negative. Now we solve. Subtract 4. Gives you 2x is less than or equal to 2. So x is less than or equal to 1. Just dividing by the 2 on both sides. Over here, subtract 4. Gives you 2x is greater than or equal to negative 10. Divide by 2, x is greater than or equal to negative 5. This means that 1 is there, x is in the middle, and negative 5, because it's an and question. So any number that we choose between negative 5 and 1, will work for this question or make it true. Don't believe me? Let's plug it in. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Number 3. Absolute value of 2x plus 4 is greater than 10. Flip the inequality and make it negative. Subtract the 4. Well, this problem looks familiar too, huh? It gives you x is greater than 3. Over here, subtract 4. 2x is less than negative 14. Divide by 2 x is less than negative 7. It's an or question. So x either has to be bigger than 3 or less than negative 7. And we could choose number a number bigger than 3, which would be 4. 2 times 4 gives you 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 is bigger than 10. So, number for, so 4 would work for that one. Also could choose negative 8. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. Absolute value of negative 12. 
is 12. 12 is greater than 10. Number four, when is the absolute value of a number going to be less than a negative number? For this one, it's the easiest type. No solutions. That's never going to work. You're never going to have an absolute value of a number less than a negative number because the absolute value makes everything positive. So watch out for that. That's kind of a trap question. Okay, number five. Get rid of our absolute value. Leave this side the same. It's less than, so it's an and question. Put the inequality and make it negative. Subtract 2 from both sides. Negative x is less than 2. You have to get rid of that negative. So when you get rid of that negative, you divide by a negative 1 or multiply by a negative 1. It's going to make it x negative 2. And remember when you multiply or divide by a negative 1, you flip the inequality. Same thing over here, subtract 2. It gives you negative x is greater than negative 6. You have a negative x here, so you have to get rid of the negative. Makes it a positive on both sides, so flip the inequality. Now it's 6 greater than x, and x is greater than negative 2. Okay, number six, when is an absolute value greater than a negative number? Since an absolute value always makes it positive, no matter what's inside here, the absolute value is going to make it positive. When would that be greater than a negative? Always. So this would be all real numbers. All right, that's it for today's lesson. We're going to have an assignment on it. Go ahead and do the assignment. Um, remember to turn your assignments in. That's the only way you're getting grades right now. So make sure you get your assignments turned in. Um, either Mr. Malik or Ms. Brennan has been bringing them to me, but just turn them into the substitute and they will get to me.